There were a number of uh, important areas that I mentioned. Uh, number one uh, was progressive MS. I think in the future we need to understand and find treatments for progressive MS. The second area I spoke about was precision medicine. We need to get blood tests and ways to tell who's doing well, who isn't doing well, and translate them to um, uh, our clinical practice. The third area that I spoke about that I'm very excited about is the microbiome. And it's now known that the microbiome plays an important role in many diseases. And we and others have found that it plays a big role in multiple sclerosis. So we're studying it and we're actually uh, planning to do trials like a fecal microbiome transplant in patients with multiple sclerosis and have actually found changes if you take the microbiome from an MS patient and put them in an animal it can change things in the brain of animals so we're very excited about that and that could ultimately lead to a vaccine for MS. Another thing I spoke about was um, microglial cells and astrocytes and how they can be abnormal in progressive MS. And we found that if you give a monoclonal antibody nasally, nasal anti-CD3, it modulates uh, microglia and astrocytes and can actually help the disease process. So we're going to be doing a trial of that. The other thing I spoke about was advanced imaging. Uh, imaging has played a very important role in MS in the past and we're testing new advanced imaging modalities. One of them is 7 Tesla MRI where you can look at leptomeningeal enhancement in the brain. Another one is PET imaging of microglial cells and I think that's uh, going to be very important. I think with new therapy we're going to move towards uh, treating more aggressively at the beginning of disease to help prevent later uh, problems. I think in clinical care we'll be able to treat people effectively, uh, manage complications, and help them with symptoms so that the MS patients really will have a better life. I think that there's a lot of hope for MS. I think that if you, if you think about other diseases like Alzheimer's and ALS, we don't have any treatments. We now have treatments for MS, and I think we're entering a new era of uh, being able to treat MS and prevent disability.